Hi friends, today we are discussing about the types of input output quantities. So, in general, the different types of input quantities are first one is desired inputs, second one is interfering inputs, and third one is modifying inputs. So, coming to the desired inputs, desired input that are quantities for which the measurement or the measurement system is specially designed to measure and respond. So, for example, we want to highlight this uh, term specially designed to measure and response. So, when we are designing a particular system, we are giving something, some inputs. So, and we are expecting some output that is directly proportional. That is, we are ex uh, our expected outcome will be directly in linked to the input. So that is the desired input that, that are, we have specially designed that particular system. And the second one is the interfering inputs. These are quantities to which an instrument or a measurement system becomes unintentionally sensitive. That is due to some other factors, the uh, input, are, input quantities are uh, disturbed or externally influenced by some other factors like environmental temperature, uh, some dirts or other uh, contaminants etc. So uh, what we are giving as an input is slightly or something uh, related by uh, some quantities changed. So that is intentionally sensitive. So this is called interfering inputs and the third type is the modifying inputs. Uh, these are the quantities which cause a change in the input output relations for either the desired input or for the uh, interfering input or for both the uh, inputs. So, the change in the input output relations. So, as we already discussed the desired and the interfering inputs, so uh, the slight variations in the desired or the input inputs can be modified with the help of these modifying inputs. This can be explained with the help of a block diagram. So, in this figure, the ID, IM, and IA, these three corresponds to the input quantities of the desired, modifying, and interfering inputs correspondingly. So, this is the final part that is the output unit, output of the system. So, first of all, ID corresponds to the desired inputs. So, while designing a particular system, we are giving a uh, the system the about the uh, desired output. So we, look, we are looking after the desired output. So on that uh, contest we are giving the input quantities. So this ID corresponds to the desired inputs. Then IA that is the interfering inputs. So the interfering inputs uh, may be changed uh, with respect to the some uh, temperature or other factors. So, the changes in the desired and the interfering inputs can be modified with the help of the modifying inputs that is IM. So, uh, we are giving the modifying inputs to both the desired quantities and for uh, the interfering inputs. This is represented by GMD and GMI corresponding to the desired and the interfering inputs. So, at the last, uh, this implies that the GD corresponds to the function of the desired inputs and GMD uh, corresponds to the function of the input of the modifying and the desired inputs. So these two gives the sum of the output components due to the desired and the modifying inputs. And in this, uh, in this error mark represents the output components due to the uh, interfering and the modifying inputs. So, the total output of the particular system will be sum of the output commands due to the desired and the modifying inputs plus the output commands due to the interfering and modifying inputs. So, this is the summation. So, in general, we can tell that the input and output quantities, the three input quantities are the desired inputs, interfering inputs, modifying inputs. And the output will be the sum of the functional, the output will be the sum of the functional, desired, modifying and interfering inputs. Okay, thank you.